All right, so what I've got here is a colony that I put in another apiary and I have to split and I made a split. Um, this side of the split ended up not having a queen and this side of the split ended up having a uh, drone laying queen. So I'm going to rectify that. I have a mating box here that's got two, it's got a divider, two frames on each side, and it's got a queen on each side. So we're going to fix that drone layer side and we're going to just introduce one to this other side that's empty. What had happened is the bees figured out how to bridge under my divider and they connected. And then once they connected, I think the virgins were able to cross and it ended up where all the bees were basically on one side and then that bee never got mated and ended up just being a drone layer. These are laying eggs too. I haven't seen brood, so I'm not sure. Who knows? They could be, the way this spring, spring is gone, they could be a, they could be a drone layer too. These guys are really, really packed though. Holy cow. They are really, really packed. So. So this one's got, I've got to take out the frames that are full of drone brood. So that's all pollen and nectar. We can put one of those over here. As you can see, that's all going to be drone brood. That's all going to be drone brood. You can see here, here's a whole, there's a whole frame of drone brood. And that's what happens when the queen doesn't get fertilized. She just lays unfertilized eggs, which all are drones. And that's what that looks like. It's two whole slabs. There's where I put the uh, queen cup. I had all kinds of troubles with this one. They didn't want to make a queen. I put a queen cup in. And then that queen ended up. Who knows where that queen ended up. But that's all. That's all drone. And now ah, that's all drone too. So looks like I've got three frames I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to deal with. Alright, so let's see how fast we can do this. Trying to make sure I see the queen. Because if I have to go back in, once these bees all mix up, I'll probably not be able to. There she is. She is not a big queen at all. But she just started laying too, so I've... That's a resource frame there, it's all all nectar and pollen. There she is. She's a nice dark queen with nice stripes. 
I really like these Michael Palmer uh, four and fours. It gives you plenty of room, and when you're doing splits, it's easy to get the frames apart. You don't have to take anything out. You can just move them a little bit and slide them out. They really do a great job. There's a mess. It's got brood galore. This gives you kind of a better look at the the brood frame. We'll just take our tool and go in there and and we just cut it out. And that way they'll redraw that. The new queen, they won't have to raise a bunch of drone brood. All right, there we go. So there's another frame. So you can see this box, it's just got a, uh, it's got an entrance on both sides, got some holes on the bottom, it's got a divider, holds two frames, two uh, standard deeps, the only downside it's a little tight, I, I, I wish it wasn't quite as tight, but it's great for things like this because it just allowed me to fix a split and I could just take the frames out and use them.